welcome to another remake of one of my videos now with audio commentary. Let's start with a sketch on a plane. It doesn't matter what plane. Please hide as always the yellow projected elements. Draw a rectangle, try to catch nothing, just press the shift key so you will catch nothing except or apart from these parallelism, move them, then give it some dimension, make a double click on this symbol and press right mouse button and go for the low symmetry line and make it symmetric to this set axis. This line should be on that axis, coincident. Now give it a dimension. This one should be 60 and the other dimension should be 70. Yes. I want to use this sketch again, sort of. So I make a copy, copy, paste it in the part body. Edit it, make this one 26 and that one 52. Okay, now let's make a block, pad. sketch, make it 33 and make another pad with this sketch and make it 18. angle, make it 3 degrees, I want to craft these two sides, the neutral element should be this face, so go to selection of the neutral element, select this one, make sure the pulling direction is direction seems right because this spear points in the right direction, this arrow. Okay. Yes. Now let's make a draft on this one. Let's go for draft angle. This should be drafted, but now the neutral element is this face, check out point direction, in this case it's wrong, it should be this one where you can use this plane and turn it around and the angle should be 10 degrees. Take a look at the preview. Next, I will go for that angle right here. So, use angle draft. I want to draft this face. And the neutral element should be that plane. Go to more. Parting element is neutral and drafted on both sides. 
again the direction is wrong, so I'll change it. It should be this one. Make a preview. If the preview is wrong, it doesn't matter. If you're sure everything is okay, just press OK and you will see. but five degrees. Then I need a reference element. So let's take a look. Still not visible. Still not visible. That's odd. Here we are. I need a plane with an offset from another plane. Please make sure this is always closed and in red. And the offset should be 50. Okay, then make another draft. This one should be 10 degrees. This face. That face. Neutral element should be right now this one. And again, it's a parting element. And the neutral one is a parting element. But in this case, I I don't want to draw both sides. Uh, the direction is wrong again, so change it if it's wrong. And it might be the other way around. Make a preview. Yes. Okay. Nice. Now make the fillets. on this edge and the opposite side on that edge okay then make it five 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 and five another one radius five is this one Okay, and another one with radius 3 is on that edge. Now make a shell. That's shell. This face should be removed, that face should be removed, and the remaining walls should have a thickness of 3. Okay, so I think I missed one fillet. So define my object right here and make it three on that edge. Okay, and I think this one's wrong. Five, yes. Okay, define your work job object. I need a pad Not on that plane. So make a sketch right here. Hide the elements. Constrain it to sit axis coincident, make a dimension 
This one should be 40. And the radius of this circle should be 5, so diameter is 10. Leave the sketch. Now make an extrusion. Go to more and give it a negative dimension so you will get an offset. This one should be, I think, minus 15. Yes. And another fillet with radius 2. We'll finish the model. This one should be right here. No, not the face. Remove the face and just select the edge. Okay, this is supposed to happen. So it's an easy control method if you did everything all right. So Thanks for watching, see you next time.